Hello and welcome back to QPR. So just checking, okay, everything is nice. Because over the past couple of days I had really, really bad performance issues only in QPR. And even right now before I started the video, it was really, really bad. So actually, somehow after updating some drivers, I had the option for the classic um, Rames moving enabled. I disabled this and now uh, at least it feels normal again. So, uh, last time I was building on my little underground temple. And today I want to use the uh, east-west, north-south blocks. Would be five. Five is almost non-existent. Hmm. Should be okay. So, I'm going to build the support beams for the first level of, or the first layer of my staircase. And then I will continue with my whole build. So did I actually make torches? No. I wanted to make some, but I didn't. Oh. And a couple of coal. The good thing is I have plenty of coal resources here, so that shouldn't be a problem. So, just making some torches now. I can't wait for the uh, cave update to come to the regular beta because then we can use cloakstones to uh, make the normal torches invisible and then I can also put shimmer stones everywhere and this whole cave will look so awesome. Come here. So. I'm not the only one who wishes to be able to disable those hint texts. So I'm, I am forced to use a crystal in my bucket. And even then this stupid text will not go away. <laughs> Double pulling one block is always a bit um, strange. Oh. <sighs> I actually got Wound Factory 5 for PC. <laughs> I saw that it's actually on Steam, so yeah. I just got it and I already streamed. Wound Factory 5 for a couple of hours and it's just a really nice game. So, let's go with the north-south first. Should be this. Okay. Oh. Hmm. 
Home Piece of Wood. So. I should get rid of those. And here. So, nice, nice, nice. Now I need the other, it's east-west. I should make more east-west mm. wood. Eighteen. Ah, good thing that I still have some of those. So it was one more level. Just going to see if it's... It's four and then diagonal. Okay. East, west, nice. Same here. Moving the placeholders and so. Oh. Let's put one more torch up here. So this is the first layer. Then we will have one, two, three, four more upwards. I think it was including this. So yeah, it's on the last step. So I'm not sure, should I use um, light wood or dark wood? was two, three, four, five. Okay. Something like this? No. It was more like this. There's only one block at the last. Aha, it's one more actually. So and then having this going up. One, two, three level. One, two, three, and then awkward again, I guess. So the fourth one would be one, two, three, yeah, the fourth one will be this again. Three layers, okay. Hmm. 
and then it will just be one, two, three, and from the fourth I go down. Okay. So here it will go down. Just, um, I guess on this level, using Those support pillars are on the same level? Yes, they are. Good. So, let's see... I will have this go... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 28. Or well, let's, let's count again, but from the first one, so that it's really 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 32. Okay, 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hey, we need to go a bit deeper. Well, shouldn't be that much of a problem. Let's just put a torch here so that I know it's 20. I will definitely forget about this. It's just going a bit deeper into the mountain. This shouldn't take too long. Let's go down a bit deeper. So. I'm in some kind of a pretty tight spot right now because in five days I have my first exams and I didn't learn at all. I wanted to learn over the last couple of weeks and I didn't. I rode my bicycle, I played video games or just slept and yeah. So my strategy for the exam is that I will just read the whole um, textbook once again and reading through it hopefully is enough to yeah, at least get a passing grade on the exam. I just need half of the available points to pass, so that should be possible. I don't think it will be so hard. I mean, it's just a bachelor exam. It can't be this hard. At least I know that two subjects will be pretty easy. One is actually um, business calculation. That's pretty simple. We do have a 
little booklet with all of the formulas that you need to know. And yeah, all you have to do is just put in the numbers into the formula, calculate it and that's it. So you don't have to learn that much, it's more about understanding. The other one is cooperating in a company. It's actually more or less like your everyday work situations and you have to analyze them and discuss stuff about them. It's not so hard, so just reading the textbook should give me some good input ideas that I can use for my argumentation. Yeah, um, the other one is all of the business laws. It's not really that hard, it's just um, a lot of searching and it shouldn't be that hard. You just need to know where it is in the textbooks, uh, in the law books, and then you can just search for it. And yeah, that's that's it most of the time. So you don't have to learn anything. It's more about finding it. One of my um, law professors once said to us, couple of years ago. You don't have to know anything. You only have to know where it is in the textbook. And it's actually the case. You don't um, know every one of the thousands of laws that we have in Germany. You only have to know in what um, law book you have to look for it. And that's actually the only thing that is a bit more difficult, um, knowing what kind of um, law you have to apply in what situation. And yeah, that's it. Shouldn't be so much of a problem. And the third one is actually communication and operating in a business. It's about um, business security and data security, stuff like this. Isn't that hard, but you have to know quite a lot. So that's actually one subject where uh, knowing this stuff is more efficient than just reading it or looking up for it while at the exam. But um, yeah. <laughs> My goal is to just succeed. I just want to pass the test. I don't want to excel it or be the best or anything because no one cares how many points you get for the mid exams. So yeah, why should I put more effort into it than necessary? That's actually more or less the Pareo effect. It says that if you put 20% effort into it, you can get 80% um, in return. And if you want to have 100% in return, you have to put 80% effort into it. So why should I put 80% effort into something if I can just use 20% and pass? <laughs> I'm just lazy. I think this should be enough now. I just need 12 more blocks. Getting up a little bit, so... Let's see if it was enough. So 12 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so. Hmm. Yeah, I could um, dig a bit more. It can be carved 
into the cave wall, that's actually okay. But it shouldn't be too close to a wall. Because that could you, um, introduce some really bad airflow circulation issues. <laughs> then you get mold problems. No one wants to have mold in a wooden building. So... And I also recontacted the uh, J Novel Club people for getting permission to read um, Us and Ends of a Bookworm on stream. Because last time was more than two months away, uh, um, ago, and they responded that. We told you that we are a really small team and over the last two months we were on a lot of conventions and we had a lot of stuff to do so we couldn't process your request. But we will contact you till the end of this week. Uh, usually publisher teams are not so small. Usually they consist of more than two people. <laughs> but yeah, let's see if they will contact me. If not, then I just have to... And throw away the concept idea of reading Ascendance of a Bookworm. It's a bit sad, but if I can't get permission, I don't want to um, force it. A bit more on this side here. Make down a bit more, so... I think with this we should be good. Ah, there's still some up here that could go away. So. Okay, good. So now I have the last one here and there will be a support pillar here. So now for the white of the actual thing, I think it should be more or less um, square. So I'm here now, so 28 in each direction, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 10 in each direction still. That's 3, 6, 9. And 12. Hmm. Yeah, I need dark wood. 
There's no dogwood lying around here. And I don't have that much left. Huh, that's unfortunate. That means I have to get more wood now. I should still have plenty of wood at my farming house because I did cut down quite a lot of trees. 20. I can double this up to 40. So I think it was two. Now I need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14 so let's get more dogwood whoops and more processed dogwood let's get more of everything Maybe I should make something like a night themed um, park somewhere. So like a night themed um, town. So let's make some dog processed wood. I will not need that many uh, stone pathways now. And here. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Some even managed to get outside. Oh, hey. Don't be shy. Come here. Looks pretty decent for now. So let's go back. Almost uh, walked past of this. 
Good thing that there were some crystals lying in front. Ah, so I already have... Have it here. Okay. And at... Oops. At this point, so here. Okay. Good. Let's fill the gaps. It's actually on this line here. It's is it also here? Wait. It is okay. Good. Oh. I'm out again. So does it look like it will become even squared? Uh, oh, maybe I have to increase on both sides a little bit. But shouldn't be too much of a problem. all of my nice processed wood. So. Oh, actually over the last days I did make quite a lot of pixel arts in QVR. So yeah, that was my excuse for not um, learning for my tests. <laughs> so if I fail my exam, then it's QFI our fault. space that means I can place all the blocks that I want um. nice it's a good thing that this cave now is actually outside <laughs> That means I can get quite a lot of sun energy recharged into my crystals. And 
and just like this. Yeah, I think that's actually a pretty nice square. And even if it's not a complete nice square, that's not really a problem. Because it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. Papa, stay up. So. Just a few more. So. only thing that I need now after I finished my base plate is to make um, the supporting pillars. I think I have also drawn one in my blueprint. Yes. So I have one at... So here's one, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, on the fourteenth spot. The fourteenth spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Here. Okay. Now the same for here. It's here. Yeah, did I mess up? Two? Two. Hmm? Hmm. No, okay. So it's here. It's the same height. It's the same length. Okay. So. And I will also have them here. It's three, so one, two, three. That makes it here, doesn't it? One, two, three, okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, good. It's this one. Good. Same goes here. One, two, three. One, two, three, here. Okay, good. That means I have my support pillars 
all nice and set to go. And they will interchange with each other, like here. And then it will look really nice and cool. I will keep this staircase at this broken state. Maybe I really should add just some dirt blocks here. So like this. To make it look more decayed. I'm pretty sure that my little temple will look really cool. I can put a treasure on the center. Usually you do have a little gemstone there to grant protection over the land. <laughs> Something like this. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I am actually really glad that the uh, uh, smoothening is now back to normal without this really, really bad drop frame stuff that I had. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Till next time, and please stay healthy. Bye.